Hey guys, I just want to make a video here and show you how to get good battery life on your Android phone. You will have to be rooted for this and also I will link to all the apps you need to download in the description. Some stuff from uh, XDA also that I'll link in the description. Um, so first I am going to show you Greenify. Greenify itself is free, but the, you will have to buy or pay for the donation package to make it um, get the most use out of it. And you will also have to um, install Exposed, which is on XDA. I'll link to that in the description. Um, so once you did all that, installed Exposed, bought the donation package, package. Um, so go to Exposed, go to Modules. Also, when you install Exposed for the first time, you have to enable it. Um, once you open the Exposed for the first time, it'll tell you that. So it's pretty easy. So anyways, go to modules, you're going to check Greenify, and you have to restart your phone after you do that for the first time. So what Greenify does is it hibernates apps so they don't run in the background, it's a pretty good battery saver. Anyways, so once you go into Greenify for the first time, you're going to press the three dots on the bottom here, go to experimental features, and you're going, everything has a pretty good description on what it does. Um, so just check what you want most of it's pretty useful, like keep notifications. This one, wake up, wake up tracker and cutoff tells you what, what, that's what is on hibernating your apps. This one is the most important one that you need to have checked. Uh, greenifying system apps, you could greenify Google Play services and apps that are pre-installed on your phone that are considered system apps also. So just read the descriptions, see what you want to check. Uh, most of them you want to check. The uh, Hibernate apps, um, you press the plus sign in the bottom, and the top, once you do that, press the three dots in the top right and press show all. This is uh, Greenify all your apps. I did not Greenify stuff, I didn't know what it was or what it did. Like uh, com.samsung.input event, I'm not sure if that would have a negative effect on my phone if I Greenified it, so I did not Greenify it. But just go through and Greenify stuff. I, you want and um, also going back there what I was talking about with that uh, tracker and uh, thing it'll tell you what it's waking up at your apps that you have hibernated like I hibernated Google Play services but Greenify always wakes up Google Play services so yeah like I said this is a pretty good battery saver Next, I'm going to show you something with System Tuner. System Tuner is free on the Play Store. It has a blue, the icon's like a blue toolbox with some tools on top of it. So once you have that installed, open it up, go to Startups, and um, you make sure you have System select, you see System there instead of User. So you're going to scroll down and you're going to look for, look for Google Play Services, you're going to long press on that until this menu opens. You're going to press open, uh, details, and I'll tell you right now, this will disable some stuff on your phone. Um, this would disable, if you use Google Plus, this will disable Google Plus. If you use Google Wallet, this will disable Google Wallet. And after I show you this and something else in System Tuner, this will disable push notifications. Like if you use Push Bullet, um, that won't work correctly. Um, other notifications like text stuff, texting notifications like a new text, that would just, that would still work. That would be unaffected. Anyways, I'll show you what to do here. So scroll over to activities and we're going to uncheck everything um, that starts with plus. So everything that starts with plus, uncheck. And if you use Google Plus, don't, every, don't uncheck everything that starts with plus. But I don't use Google Plus, so I don't need to drain my battery. And we're going to scroll down further, and we're going to uncheck everything that starts with the wallet. This will disable Google Wallet, so if you use Google Wallet, do not uncheck stuff that starts with the wallet. Um, we're going to do the same thing in scroll over, same thing in the providers menu, the same thing in receivers, and same thing in services. Um, in receivers, there's also, you need to uncheck everything that starts with check-in. So everything that starts with check-in, um, uncheck. 
and do the same thing in services. So to recap, in Google Play services in the System Tuner, you're going to have to uncheck um, everything that starts with plus, wallet, and check-in. Uh, so that's it in Google Play services. Um, I'll go back here and we're going to go to Google Services Framework. Long press that, go to Open, Details, and scroll over to Activities. And we're going to uncheck everything that starts with GTalk. Um, so scroll over to again to providers, receivers, and do the same thing. And then also some more check-in stuff you need to uncheck. So do that, all the GTalk and check-in stuff. Um, so in the Google Services framework, you need to uncheck everything that starts with GTalk and check-in. And also, I will say, I did not come up with this myself. I saw a guide on XDA that I'll link to in the description. That's how I found it. Um, so I'm not, going, I'm not going to take the credit for it. I'm just passing it along here. Um, so that's it with System Tuner. The next app you re, uh, need is Titanium Backup. I believe it's free. I can't actually remember. So in Titanium Backup, what we're going to do is uninstall all the bloatware that you, that's uh, on your phone already, like with Samsung phones. You get all that Amazon apps, like the app, Amazon App Store and uh, Kindle app. Verizon puts all those stupid apps on there, like the Verizon Navigator, My Verizon, uh, Voicemail, the Voicemail app, uh, stuff like that. Uninstall that in here in Titanium. So you go, to, you could either search for it. Or you could go to backup and restore and look through all the stuff that's uninstalled on your phone. Um, do not uninstall stuff. You don't know what it does. It might break your phone or somehow. But if you, you want to freeze it or get, I mean, get rid of it, but you're not sure if it will have a negative effect on your phone, you could always freeze it instead of uninstalling it. So just click on a random app. So freezing it will make the app ineffective. It won't run in the background. It won't work until you unfreeze it. So you could do that. If you do want to uninstall it, all you do is press uninstall. So um, then also someone else on XDA for the Galaxy S5, they made a big list of stuff that you can get rid of. And they also made a program that you could run on your computer. You hook your phone up to, to the computer and it uninstalls all the uh, bloatware and stuff for you. Um, that's what I did. Just doing that alone helped with the battery a lot. So it's a good battery saver. So I'll link to that uh, in the description also. So um, okay, so after doing all of this stuff, um, I could get about um, overnight. My battery only drops 2%. Um, so um, I'll show you my battery life here. It's pretty light, but I'll show you too anyway. So um, almost... Uh, Almost a day on my battery, 23 hours. So I'll show you my screen on time here. It's about a little over two and a half hours. So it's a lot better than when it was on stock. I don't, I've always had issues with the battery drain, even on the S5. Even though when everyone says that how good the battery is, I still had good, pretty good battery drain. I did not get as good screen on time as I thought I would. But after rooting and doing all these tips, um, I could get pretty good battery life. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, just um, let me know in the uh, comment section. Leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys next time.